And happy new year to each and every one of you. Happy 2024. Man. On Patreon, we asked for our what y'all want us to do for our Christmas special and our New Year's special. The top prize went to Would I Lie to You, but second place went to what? Educating Ricky, Ricky Gervais's XFM show. So, Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> it's been a while it's, since we've had a lot of Pilkington uh, content on the channel, so this it, is nice. It, it really has. It's almost been like a year. Yeah, at least. I mean, we jailbroke a few Moaning of Life episodes uh, yeah. this year, last year. But other than that, like we finished the Ricky Gervais show in June of last year. So it's it's been a good six months since we've had consistent Pilkington on the channel. So it's nice to get back to where we found him. Because this is the pre-Ricky Gervais show. Right? I think it is, yeah. There, wow. there might be bits and pieces that are made it into the Gervais show. But other than that, man, I think I can't think of a better way to kick off 2024. <laughs> hey, yeah, bringing our friends with us, man. That's how you do it. Exactly. How we're going to do this, since what we have queued up is three hours and 44 minutes. We're going to split it into two uploads. From the future here, we actually decided to split this up into three parts since it was so long and there was a lot of overlapping in the second half of the full video we did. So we're going to give you part one today, December 30th, give you part two on New Year's Day, January 1st, and part three on January 6th. Anyway, back to the video. You ready? Man, let's do this. All right. Three, two, one. Well, you're across it. I don't think you can concentrate on talking and working at the same time. I'm not walking, sure you can. Walking, walking, yeah, and I, eating. For you, it seems it's a oh, bit no, like. Don't say that. Look, he's gutted. No, it's, there's a lot of gone wrong here. I say, I say, throw this desk out and get a real one. Seriously. Well, I think there's a fish, there's a Fisher Price one you can buy in uh, well, Argos that might be. Yeah, worth no, but yeah, in. we got there. We were stunned because it was second hand. This one, but um, uh, this is like the mere space station. I mean, it really is falling apart. Get a new one in. Let's not, you know. Oh. I can't believe it. Get the. I mean, look at the. Look at that. Look at the library. Look gap. Look at the gaps in yeah, the right, library. Let's not go on about this because this isn't. This isn't good. <sighs> what? Whereas that quiz was. <laughs> <laughs> whereas that was good radio. We can join in and stuff. But the problem yeah, okay. is, Carl. You, why did you rush to do it? We, I told you before we should practice these things. That's Although to be fair, it. Steve, I can't. I haven't got time to do anything. So at least Carl's coming up with stuff. But I don't mind, you know, running what through with it you while got? you're having a kip outside. Really? What other ideas have you got? Have you got any other ideas, Carl? Because we're really- you've got another hour to put- have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, I've got that feature Educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right? Do you know the- do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita? Yeah. I'll well, see what we've done. I see what we've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know, like, how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in with topics every week, and this week I've got, uh, ghosts. Ghost. No, hanging bacon is one of the topics. What? Say that again. Hanging bacon. Hanging bacon. All, all the titles. Francis Bacon. <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make, sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging bacon? Well, you yeah. certainly t intrigued. Go on, what's the another title one? Uh, Hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> 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 this is gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. We already knew Carl Pilkins' brain was just <laughs> from another planet. <laughs> but now he's gonna come every single week and try to uh, teach Ricky Gervais about something. Oh my god, dude. I mean, the trade-off, teach him about Hitler and Che Guevara, right? I'm like... Okay, valid historic figures, right? That need to be learned about, and and then you come in with hanging bacon, bro. <laughs> Harry Chinese kid. Harry Chinese kid. <laughs> what? I mean, I'll give him this. Fucking out of left field. Yeah. I'm I'm already like, I need to know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, I'm there with you, man. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna wait until this thing devolves into bugs. I. <laughs> That it always sucks. goes to fucking bucks. Pretty much. That's, so I'm, we, I'm here we pretty much We pretty much decided that every episode of the Ricky Gervais show should just be titled Bugs. Bugs. Because it always devolves into bug talk. So, somehow. Somehow, some way. And that's why I love this this man that's in the middle of us right here. Freaking yeah. Pilkington. Yeah. God. 
I'm going to ask people in Patreon, like, do they want us to put subtitles to have something in, uh, stimulating them on the screen I, I other than our faces? Else, I don't know what else to do because this is a long ride with no no visual aid. I'll just, what if I just sway? <laughs> uh, I'm just like, holy shit. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's like, look, the people that are watching this have been with us for a, a long time. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. No one is watching this that's like, oh, this is interesting. No, you they these are our ride or dies that yeah. have been with us since whoo, yeah, way or, back. Or they left because they uh uh we stopped doing Gervais Pilkington content. I Very saw true. a comment on what on one of them saying that, uh screw you for that, by the way. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they come back. If you're here, uh welcome, be nice welcome. or go away. <laughs> welcome back. No, right. no, no room for bullies in 2024. No, none. Except for Ricky Gervais to Carl Pilkinson. This is very true. <laughs> Unfortunate, but very true. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Could I, I'm going no. for that one. Could if, I, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title. Yeah, no, I'm going to go for Harry Chinese Kid. Um, I think. The final one. Yeah. A- Alien gives man a beard. <laughs> Right, alien gives verse. man a beer. I am gonna verse. Right, listen, Carl, you've got to tell me. Right, to first, right, let's do it. In reverse no, we're not. Order. We're not gonna do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. But, I mean, that's this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour. Okay, the listeners have just uh, been subjected to rubbish and uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've got to do. Alien gives man a beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um, Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? Well, <laughs> this feature is you telling me something. I'm well, teaching you something, educating Ricky. All so, right? are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well, into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? There's no point because look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away. So I'm not wasting my time making stuff right. if you don't like well, okay, it. Well, okay, let's play. Let's play educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go right. Wah 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 Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Educating Ricky. Right. What are we going for then? Hang in the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. Alien gives man a beard. I think Alien gives man a beard. I'd like to do that. Right. There's this fella. I think it happened in America. Uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. And uh, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure believe. it wasn't someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light, and I, gr- I, I got back in the car. I grew a beard, and she said, "Never mind your beard. Where have you been for three days?" <laughs> <laughs> and what had happened is he the, passed out because he was pissed. No, <laughs> the, the UFO had taken him for three days. Yeah, but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is yeah, he yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um. Right. So, okay. <laughs> I'm using that every single time that <laughs> I disappear for three days. Where were you? I got uh, abducted by aliens. It's like, hey, isn't that crazy? I looked at, <laughs> I was coming home. I stopped to look at a light. And look, I got back in the car, grew a beard. Like, fuck the beard. Where have you been for three days? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, man. J- j- I mean, was... Will Smith or Tommy Jones, anything to do with it at all? Did, uh, were you, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Oh, here. my God. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent <laughs> for three days from home. He's grown a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <clears> seen <throat> a bright light in the sky? What, what if he was lying? Drunk? What if he was lying? He got knocked unconscious. Mm. He would had a car crash. Just any lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days. And that was his mates. excuse to his wife. 
And they went, what are you gonna- what- Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just say you're on your way for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away from it because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, it, lo it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have. That's <laughs> exactly. right. Okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played. So on. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learned from this? Never listen to you again. <laughs> That's all I've learned so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no. Uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this. To this, what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right. Um, there's only a law in America that says if you touch a UFO, you're gonna get done. Now, why would they make a what? rule? I don't know that- do you know like all their rules have a code? Uh, Carl, I- I- I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right, do you know like how here- do, do you know I what- I have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know like over <laughs> Rick, here? I'm listening to Capital and these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got- I got Foxy on from yesterday. Uh, right, let's- let's bin that. <laughs> no way, it's crazy. No, I, I want to hear about Airy Chinese Kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. Okay, let's play a tune. Come back with Chinese, Chinese Kid, kid definitely. Some, some dolls. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Uh, take it back to the sixties. Uh, this is a tune that a friend of mine sent. If me. you touch a UFO, you get done. Soul Kitchen from the Doors. Shambles to like this. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, that's God. Carl for you. He, yep. he tries so hard, but. He just can't, he can't I, get it through <laughs> his brain. Uh, well, like, when he steps off of his mental train to try to talk to these guys, he is one of the most unsure-sounding individuals on the planet. Yeah, he does have, he has no confidence at all. None. I mean, and he's, he's an intelligent person, though. I mean, the way his mind thinks is absolutely different, you know? But... I, I, at the same time, that was all hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will say to that whole beard thing, you know, so I do shave like every now and again, but it, it takes me like a couple weeks to grow it out to like to here. Um, I mean, everybody has a different one. Like if someone can grow a beard in like three days. Yeah, hmm. that's. That's you are you are you have those Viking genes, goddamn. Yeah, it. you You're do. Nordic, you just straight up summon your beard. It's cool. Uh, whatever. I know a couple people like that. They're just like shave next day. It's like, poof, like what? What is wrong with you, man? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely not me. I mean, I may have a little bit of that in me, but not to that extent. No. <laughs> David Bowie, slow burn, yeah. Quite a quite a Eno trilogy yeah, feel about it. Lodger yeah. and it sort of low type, yeah. But uh yeah. yeah. Enjoyable. Um now, okay. That's stressful, isn't it? We've, I think we've got things working now. We've had people come in and out, just shaking their heads, going, shouldn't have bought that desk. <laughs> but it's all sorted now, I think. Sorted now, I think. And uh, oh, I'm, you know how it I'm took um, about what? 25 minutes for them to come down as well, though. Do you feel like we're maybe quite low in the pecking order in the building? Definitely. You know, it's like Capital First, Capital Gold. They can shoot off to other sort of pirate stations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people's car radios, <laughs> then they come back here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I had a job at Richard Sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Light fitting was uh, buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, <laughs> but we've got, um, thanks for staying listening. Um, right, okay, educating Ricky. What have we got? Every Chinese kid, go on. Right, yeah. This is the, uh, I didn't want to do this. Really. You didn't want to do it? Well, I wanted to give you three and I, I, and I gave you one. It was like the alien uh, man gets a beard or whatever. Yeah. And Which was total rubbish, so <laughs> uh, this one should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. To, to, yeah, they're not, they're, they're not- there were some people that were born uh, uh, very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson type mind. Right, well, <laughs> this is like a sort of- That's it! That's it! Yep. Homer Simpson! Oh my god, it took me so long to- Put that together. Yep, that that is probably the most accurate right there. He is Manchester's answer to Homer Simpson. Yep, I'm oh I'm there with it. 
Wow. I'm there with it. I fully condone that that statement right there. Mm -hmm. You and me both. Sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people aren't that hairy as a, as a nation. <laughs> no, seriously. That's that's a well known fact. Oh they, they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So this little kid who was born over there, um, he was like covered in the stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of. What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it thick hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of uh, uh, like a pony's mane? So he just looked like an Ewok. You know what I mean? Just like hanging down, sort of straight, dark well, it hair. Looked, in the picture, it looked like uh, it grows from it his downy? eyebrows. It grows from his eyebrows quite thick, and then it just goes all the way over. You his don't hair. think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just, just all around. over him. Yeah. And um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird. Happening, uh, happening in China, mm. where, where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the scientist speaking oh, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the press, the local press and that were getting him down, calling him monkey boy and all this. Oh. And, um, Thinking Chinese press. But the doctor- <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they're cruel, aren't they? The it's like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's all that. Yeah. And the doctor said, um, I was talking through all that time where we were just like talking to each other then. Cos I turned around and I still saw he was talking. Go so on. anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. Yeah, they were like being tight, taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said, uh... Throwing him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> so, and he said everybody should just treat him the same and uh, I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um... Yeah, so that's that's the uh That's that's the end of the story. That's not it? a story. Why? Well but, but I've got nothing I don't know what to say to that. So someone was <laughs> someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, I, that I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean it, it's sort of like bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. <laughs> he was normal. I mean that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right then. Um, hang on, hang oh on. Oh God, he's got the big guns. You're not going to give us hanging bacon, are you? Yeah. <laughs> come on then. Come on then. Right, come on. The really come on. To. This, this is it. No, this is a good one. This is the one. And this is a story, right? Um, do you know the saying, uh, "Chewing the fat"? Good one. It's one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what it means? Talking. Right. Well, do you know where it came from? No. Right. What they used to do years ago. When people didn't have much money. Is this the same as the ba throwing the baby out of the bathwater? No, it's not the s- well, it's not the same saying, but No, but I mean, is it as wrong as uh, that was? Well, let me tell you, we'll go see. On. Okay. Um, like, people go out to work and with the money, they'd buy food. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a good system. What, what, go on, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? People go out to work- <laughs> Just how much Ricky just yeah. interrupts Carl with, when he says the most basic things, like, oh, Oh yeah, yeah, they they had money. What and so they, they bought food with the money, like, oh shit. Did they? Smart. Smart. Fucking <laughs> Ricky. Like, I the the whole dynamic of this show, it it, it needs all three of them. Yeah. It, you know, for the longest time, to be honest, I didn't think Stephen Merchant was was needed in the beginning, but then I was I'm so wrong. He yeah. was like the the he kept a lot of it on course. Yeah, he's like the referee between Ricky and Carl. Yep. <laughs> Working with the system. And if, if, you, if you were quite well off, you might treat your family to some bacon, right? But do you know, like in these days, if people earn a lot of money, they might buy a nice suit or and, or a oh, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, oh, what are you saying? You're saying wait, 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 let me get this straight. You're saying that. It, you go out to work and get money to to buy things to to live, and if you get sort of enough money to live, and you've got some left over, you might treat yourself on like a suit or a car. Or something. Is that yeah, what you? Yeah. Oh, but back on. then, back then, if yeah. you earned money, they'd say, "This is olden times." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get some bacon in, right? <laughs> and what they'd do, they'd hang it in the kitchen. What to show it off? To show it off right. to all the neighbours and friends. Because if you were, if you had hanging bacon, it was like he's doing all right for himself. Yeah. yeah. Some lovely bacon. So they had loads of bacon hanging up, and people would come round. 
right? And whilst they stood in the kitchen talking about whatever they're talking about, in olden times, they'd say, uh, "Do you want a bit of Ryan?" And they'd and they'd rip a little bit of Ryan off. And whilst they're having a having a chit chat, chewing the they'd chew on the Ryan. Well, I think that's probably true. And I, I haven't heard that, but that one to me sounds true. Do you see the difference between that one and a man was abducted and grew a beard? Do, 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 can you see the difference in yeah, why different, I accept that different, story? Different stories for different things. <laughs> <laughs> different stories for different things! <laughs> so, see, that's a nice, that's a nice story. If it's true, I don't know if it's true, I mean, but it seems totally possible, viable, quite interesting. I won't be quoting that myself until I've verified it, but that's, you know, I won't be telling anyone the bloke got in the car and he had a full face beard. <laughs> <laughs> why has car been towed away? <laughs> because it was a quiet road. It was it? It wasn't in the way. <laughs> Sorry. Are okay. you filling in the blanks again? <laughs> that wasn't in the book, was it, that you read? <laughs> See, that's yeah. the thing. Sometimes I think you make up bits of the story <laughs> as though they were facts. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <sighs> well, that's all you can do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's educating Ricky, will we? Brilliant. Do that next week. That is brilliant. No, I think Carl. that was good. I, I, I did. I mean, I enjoyed that. I learned something from that. I mean, well, just, just, I, I want to get. A, I mean, this is all from one book, is it? Yeah. That's an interesting book. Um, <laughs> with the, with yeah. the, I, I don't want to dwell on it, but with the, uh, with the hairy Chinese kid, what, what, what did they say about that? What did they, what was the, I mean, was it, once there was born a kid who was slightly more hairy than everyone else, but he, uh, it's all right, he only had a boil. Oh, how did they word it? How did they, how did this capture your imagination? There was well, a picture. it was a picture that grabbed me, first yeah. of all. Yeah. Sure. And uh, it was like, oh, what, what's up with him? And that's when <laughs> I read it. Did you it see said, the boil in the XML or just the hair? No, you see, because his face is like, just under his eyes is sort of nice and smooth and his nose is sticking out and that's not hairy, but the rest of him, it looked like he had the sort of a balaclava on or something. And then, and then I read on and it's like, this is a hairy kid in China. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's... good. Anything else in there? Because, I mean, I like, I like, no, I like we'll, that. No, we'll do more of that next week. How, how is that alongside, um, hanging bacon, alien abduction, abduction um, uh, a, a hairy Chinese kid and uh, a little interesting fact about the derivation of a phrase. What do you mean? He didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the word derivation was going to be a problem. I thought derivation shouldn't have come out. <laughs> this is amazing. I, but I mean, so <laughs> Ricky's questions are very valid. Very valid. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of book is he reading that these stories coexist? You know, because everyone knows, everyone knows, at least we know now, that that Carl has a book of, of freaks, is what he calls them. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And and so we know that the the hairy Chinese kid belongs in his litter literature, but where does it stack up to hanging the bacon and Mancy's alien grows beard. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of books that are around that, uh, you know, I could pull random things from, like cookbooks, things like that. Yeah. Uh, probably I, be as valid as what Carl's saying. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, but not the same book. If you had, like, a, 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 a recipe for macaroni and cheese, and then you had how to change the oil in a 87 Cadillac and the the newest Nike shoe, like, what book is that? They should not exist. Carl, no. man. What yeah. the hell, dude? It's Carl, man. And it's this was before, I'm assuming this is the time before the internet where, you know, you had all these uh, lists and yeah. all that that you could just quickly Google. Everybody Googles everything now, so book, random shit books are kind yeah. of a thing of the past. Yeah, I remember when there used to be a, a thing. That they used to be like the bathroom books. You yeah, know? yeah. Like the the ten random facts or hundred and thirty random facts. And I used to love those. Yeah, yeah. Well, now it's just TikTok accounts of people reacted to stuff. You know, Justin Nunley. Listen, did you know there's only <laughs> two escalators in Wyoming? Now yeah. you do. Now you do. That's that's the modern equivalent of that. Yep. Disputing, he's all, he's all smug because he's had a phone call. That was um, back lost cause. Go on, tell tell him why you're all smug. Because Adrian just called up. Yeah. After hearing the story about the Chinese kid. Yeah. And he said, yeah, that's true. He said that there was a TV program on it. Yeah. He had a uh, a chromosome defect. Yeah. 
and it made him airy, and his mum and dad. De La Soul. Old school. Brilliant, uh, brilliant, school. brilliant. Germany, Saturday. Brilliant. Yeah. Good stuff. Carl, yeah. so, um, educating Ricky. You were gonna tease us now with some of the big headlines. He's <laughs> dancing. He's dancing there. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Okay. The way this works is. What would you rather be, Carl? I teach you superheroes. Three things. A frog boy. Right. Yeah, that you could leap. You could leap onto a house, but you had to go to the frog. You had to go bleh, first and leap onto a house. You're, you're, you know, this frog boy. Right, and that, that, that could be useful, couldn't it? <laughs> That's very useful, yeah. Right, um, amploid, where you've got your your hands and microphones, and you can talk into your hand and your whole body. You can, it's like hundred decibels. You can go, oi, come here, and you, people can hear you from a miles away. Amploid, right, <laughs> right. Or, or saddo, right? And that means that you can go up to anyone and go, all right? And they just, they don't know why, they just get fed up for the whole day. <laughs> Which of those would you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> don't answer now, have a think about it. Have a think about it. The frog thing, do I look like one or. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just you and your little Ben Sherman shirt and everything. And they go, and people walk along and they go, oh, look at that young child from on that roof. He's gonna fall. Which frog boy was here? And you go, and you go down, you go, blah, blah, and they go, here's, here's him! And they don't recognise you when you're squatting, and they go, well, I don't know who you are. Mm. And you leap up there and say, you come up, and they go, where's Frogboy? And you're standing up, and you go, I don't know, he went that way. Yeah, I'd probably have that one. Would you? go with Frogboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, go on. Right, so, uh... I don't know, man. I don't know what superpower I'd have. <laughs> I mean, the I, sad one seems pretty funny, if you're I, not the person that's become sad. I like that, because that gives you some space. Yeah, yeah. People just don't, leave you don't alone. Wanna, don't want to talk to you. So it's like, oh, okay, I like this. Uh, yeah. Give me that. That sounds like a very peaceful kind of life right there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that one. Yeah, and the whole, you know, getting the superpower after hot leapfrogging or whatever that is, that's obligation, you know? Yeah. People are going to expect you to do that all I don't the time. Need, I don't need that responsibility. Yeah. You know, who, I didn't choose to be Frog Boy. Yeah. You know? Exactly. That's made me Frog Boy. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. <sighs> Did that just go out? <laughs> all that. <laughs> <laughs> go on, I got a bad... Hey, look, Rick, Carl's really planned this show. He's, yeah. he's really worked out. He yeah. came in early, he was writing things down. And then he just come up with rubbish. And like you're that. just talking rubbish. So, Carl, I know you've right. been thinking this through. What have you got? So, educating Ricky, we did it last week. It's where I teach you some stuff. But rather than just teach you something, a tease you. So, you want to know more. So, you want to yeah. take in information. <laughs> right? So. I've... If only people had taught you like that, Carl. So. And also, it's the name of a film, sort yeah, of. Yeah, nearly. Yeah. Coming up soon, Henry VIII and his, well, how many wives? <laughs> Come back tomorrow, Carl, to find out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, uh, well, the, the little, the little, uh, headlines have got to sort of tease you with the story. Yeah, this is gonna hurt me and I'm not very well. Go on. Right, we've got, uh... <laughs> so, so this is what, sorry, I'm, I, I've just got lost for a minute there. It's educating Ricky. This is educating Ricky. Yeah. And these are the stories that you're, these are the things you're gonna tell him. Yeah. But these are just headline versions. These are headlines this because not the actual fact. then I think people will remember things. Okay, alright, so you, you, know, you know, sort of bullet points. Who can forget points. Harry Chinese boy? <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> I shall never forget that. Yeah. So... <laughs> first headline, yeah. uh, Ooh. don't do that to it, you know it can't live without an head. I've got no idea. It could be about the French Revolution, it could be about anything. I know what it is! I can't live without a head! Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Fucking. Uh, Carl, dude. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's Carl. Just me. Is just so different. Up. He's just different. Like I love him because he's so different. But yeah. what the fuck, Carl? Like <laughs> what? I mean, I know this was from ages ago, but holy crap, man! <laughs> it's like I don't. I didn't believe in aliens until I started listening to Carl, and I'm like, he <laughs> is one. <laughs> like he doesn't. He's not from around here. <laughs> he I'm not saying that in a mean way. It just he breaks down the world. He sees the world different. I think that's pretty lightly. Yeah. 
<sighs> wow. <laughs> you, no, you think you do. But, no, no, right? it's, it's what I taught you. Is it? Is it the fact that cockroaches can live for nine days without a head? That's part of it, but it's something different as well. That's oh, what I thought we'd bring okay. up. Okay, brilliant. So uh, that's something. To next one. Do you want to work it out? Um, if only it was raining. <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And the last one. Uh, what's tomato with you? <laughs> <laughs> what's tomato with you? Yeah. <laughs> Look right. how pleased he is. You're, so, you're, you're obsessed with puns, aren't you, at the moment, Kay? You, you, it just you know. works. I think it works. Yeah. <laughs> we love puns. So, there you go. So okay. which of those are you gonna choose, right? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to choose. Don't do that. You know it can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we oh. play a tune and we'll come back with yeah, that? Yeah, I can find out what that is. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a history lesson that's gonna be. Daddy Warhols and Bohemian Like You on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl. What's the so, story then? Right, so what, what did you say you're going for? You've got- so These guys were like legit radio DJs. Yeah, yeah, it's a legit radio show. They played music wow. and all that. Man. Wow. L would love to be, be that one day. Yeah. Right? That is like my dream. Yeah. So, yeah. I, oh, man. Anyway, that's, I mean, that's so cool because we didn't get that. We didn't get that little bit of realism in the Ricky Gervais show because it's all edited up and right, animated it's up. It's a podcast it's a instead podcast. of, you know, a radio show, which, you know, both the, 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 the concept of the radio show has been split into two with both podcasts and, you know, playlisting. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man, maybe one day they'll come back together yeah. and rejoin in harmony. Maybe, maybe you could make that happen. Maybe mm -hmm. I could be that mistake. It could be, you know, it, you know, those <laughs> longtime fans of the channel who are watching now know that this has been a platform for me to get my music out, and this will be a, now a platform to get your radio podcast show out. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, here we Man. go. Here we're, we go. we're taking direct inspiration from from this. Uh, yes, yes, one hundred percent. This is they are my why. <laughs> oh. I thought your son was your why. No, yeah, that's very true. I, I'm personally, I am, I am going to take after a Alan Partridge. Yeah, he is, <laughs> he is my dude. I love mm -hmm. that man. Anyway, hell yeah, hell yeah. Your three titles, your three teasers. Well, I think I'm going to go for. Don't do that to it. You know, it can't live for that, Ned. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Right. right. So this is uh, educating Ricky for those yeah. that just tuned in. Now, something that Ricky told me about when he was educating me, was that a cockroach, if you cut its head off, um, it lives for a week. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And the only reason it dies is it can't take on water. Sure. It, it doesn't have a great time in that week, though, does no. it? I mean, it doesn't no. get much done, I don't imagine. It just, it just needs water, and because it can't find any, uh -huh. by its eyes, it eventually dies. Yeah. Right? No. So, so it what- No, it's not, that's not, it's anyway. it can't drink. Anyway. So, with the, have you heard that one about worms? Okay. I have gone. If you cut a worm in half, yeah. um, a lot of people have said in the past that it'll turn into two worms. <laughs> right. But that isn't actually true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> no, it's a, it used to be like, you know, uh, kids at school. They said that. it on, yeah, kids at school and stuff. You need to, yeah. So that, you know, a lot of people think that. Don't pick him up on stuff, Steve. It's bad enough. Sure. So, but what they can do, if you get a worm, right? And you find out which end its head's at. Right. <laughs> if you sort of, you've got its head there at the left hand side, right? And if you sort of cut it in half. Right. But not in half. So there's more of its neck than the tail, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. The bit that you've cut off will sort of die and the rest of the worm will get better. So in a way, you can cut it in half and it'll survive, but only one half will survive. I, I am, I am, Okay. Oh. Yeah? What if you like? Do you need a second, man? Do you need a second? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's always fucking through. bugs, man. Like, yes. and, and the, did he just say the neck of the worm? Yeah, yeah, the neck of the worm. Is that's after the head, the neck, 
And I guess there's, like, you know what I mean? Only, Cut off the pussy and the crack. Yeah. Like, what in the shit is going on? I've never heard anyone say, oh, that's the, uh, the, the, the part of that worm is the neck. It's like. <laughs> the, the whole uh, thing is the neck. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, that's, Bob. Uh, that's probably like the, the arm, the shoulder blade section of the snake. Oh my God. What is going on? I love this man. Carl. I it's just, Carl. It's like, Carl. I, I, you know what it is? We haven't done it for, we haven't done this for so long. <clears throat> I forgot. I forgot what he does to my mind. Like, <laughs> it's like this, this vacuum in the void in this expanse of Carl's mind where there's a never ending game of fucking like Pong. And it's just like, oh my God, there's nothing else here. And I'm just like, get me out. Because it doesn't make sense. It's either, um, it's either, inside of his mind is either empty, completely empty, and Carl sleeps amazing because of that. <laughs> or it looks like the fucking scene from Labyrinth where ch like stairs are fucking everywhere. <laughs> so... Uh, I, he's making me belly laugh so much that I have to unbutton my shirt. I just, <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I forgot. It's good to be back. It's good it, to be back. Yeah, it's good amount of mind fuckery. <laughs> I love how some people, like in the later episodes of the Gervais show reactions, like they were like, "If you don't like it so much, why do you keep doing it?" Oh, because we're suckers for pain yeah. and we're masochists. And I absolutely love him. It's just holy shit. Yeah, you know. It's like, well, it's, you invest so much. You invest so much. Because what happens when you're listening to this, and I think this is their, their key to their success, is you come up with this what the shit kind of stuff. And as a listener, you try to piece it together like I just did. What part <laughs> of the worm is the neck? And I shouldn't, I shouldn't have never had to ask myself that ever in my adult life or kid life. <laughs> I've never had to ask that question in my, to myself. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Well, no. I wish you hadn't chosen that one. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> no, it's not. It's nothing, is it? Yeah, you tell a worm Ed from its own. You put put it in a bowl of flour and wait till it farts. Yes. Right? I told my mate that, right? And he went, What if it coughs? <laughs> yeah. 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 So <laughs> it is there is a bit of truth in, in that myth of cutting one in half. Where did you get this information? I don't understand where you get this that, information from. That was from, from the Fatian Times. It was right. like the myth, the myth about worms. Yeah. <laughs> the big, that was the big article that week. Did it take you as long to read that article <laughs> as it took you to tell us just then? <laughs> I like the fact that it starts off debunking a myth yeah. that we have known of anyway. <laughs> exactly. You know the, the big, the big thing about cutting the worm in half and making two worms? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. What's the other one? What's the oh, other it's not the thing to do either, by the way. Don't don't go doing it. No, it's not very nice. <laughs> but it's cruel. Cool. It can get bad. And it's pointless. Do. Yeah. There's no scientific worth. Yeah. In that. Well, there you go. Okay then. So the others now. You what see what others? I do? What's no, I'll tell you the other titles. You're not having them yet. That's that's the whole idea of this. People will be driving or about to go out doing the shopping. They'll think about that now. What was the other two? Well, the other two. They were... won't think about that. They've forgotten that. <laughs> no, they will. <laughs> they will. <laughs> no, they've forgotten that already. If only it was raining. And what's tomato with you? Right, that, you've I looked forward to that one. No, you've got to tell me no, tomato no, with no. you. Look, look what's happening. You see, you already want more education. And this is what listeners will be doing. You, I tell you, you, I wish you were a teacher. I so wish you were a <laughs> yeah. teacher. Do you know what I mean? And kids would be saying, I know it's half past three, but I don't want to go home, I want more. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm doing with you. I'm teaching you. Why are you teaching me things about not the gut worms in half and what's tomato with you? <laughs> Please tell me what's tomato with you, Carl. Yeah, I, I, I think, <sighs> I would love in American public school for there to be a class of just random facts. You know, not necessarily oh, science or social studies or uh, English or uh, maths. Yeah. Uh, you know, random but, facts like or, quiz show style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That because then that see what happens with with that is if there is like let's say a, a panel show type class, right? It it promotes learning and retention yeah of what you've learned 
yeah, actually apply it to your everyday life as opposed to just soaking it up and spitting it back yeah. out come test time. And then forgetting about it completely. Yeah, yeah. So I would l- look forward to a class with Mr. K. Dilkington. You yeah, know? Dilkington, man. All all day. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Oh. In a bit, in a Hello. bit, in a bit. Rick, what? I'd say he, he's, he's thought the show through, he's yeah. teasing the audience, you're excited, they're listening. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, so listen, I think we should all, because we've got your competition to squeeze in, we've got all these great good, goodies, let's not this forget, hello, children of the corn. I do feel we slightly that guilty that, that, before two, but, three, but now this is Carl Pilton's show, I, d- I don't think we should have our names involved. No. It's not fair, is it? And I think we should give Carl the money. I don't want my yeah. name to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ricky Gervais show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, the quiz. Yeah. We'll, uh, well, we get out of the way because they've only got an hour to start. Don't you worry about that, Carl. I've already got this one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking on your terms now. Let's play a tune. We'll come back with the, with the big competition information. All right? Money Mark. We've got a, a classic from Money Mark from his album Push the Button. Play that, Carl. And afterwards. Are we excited? You got the competition? Look at his face. He's so excited yeah, now. He's, he's thought this through. He's loving it. Rock busters. <laughs> Rock busters. <laughs> That's another one that apparently we have to get to, uh, is Rockbusters. But, hmm. uh, we'll, we'll see how Educating Ricky does and reevaluate after that. There you go. All right. All right, man. I'm here for it. <laughs> I got to hear about this tomato with you. What's, yeah, what's, what's, what's tomato with you? I don't know. I don't know, man. What's tomato with you? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. A scientist on XFM 104.9. Right. Competition, isn't it? Uh, no, it's Educating Ricky Part 2. Oh, is it? <laughs> yep. I wasn't even listening. He's doing all the work, I wasn't even listening. Oh, and he spilled some water down on that. Right, what's this one again then? Right, uh, What's the uh, teaser headline? Teaser headline is, What's Tomato With You? Brilliant. Yeah? Good. Yeah. How excited were you when you came up with that? You couldn't wait to come in and tell us, could you? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, I think it's things. a good one because you won't forget it now, will you? Okay. I mean, like the worm one. What's so special about the worm? Uh, you know, a lot of people think that if you cut a worm in half, it will, two worms will grow, but no. What happens is if you cut the head end slightly nearer the tail than the head, the tail will die, um, but the- Sorry, let me back that up. You heard that, right? No. Oh, okay, you didn't hear bows and O's start? No, oh, is the video done? Yeah, the video's done. Got um, it. but, uh, we'll, we'll look at it later. I'll, All let right. me X that out. Alright. grow but no what happens is if you cut the head end slightly nearer the tail than the head the tail will die um but the worm with the head will be okay so um it's exploded a myth and it taught me something <laughs> right so <laughs> the second one part two of educating ricky uh what's tomato with you yeah what this one's about is uh ages ago <laughs> this is scientific. No, it's, never, it's, never, it's never a date. It's, a, it's, it's never a country a location. <laughs> okay, settle down, children. Now, this is A level history. Right. Once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a, when a mental place with swords was a king. Forget his name, but he was a loony. Uh, yeah. So, and it was a, a, really, literally ages ago. Yeah. So, uh, good luck <laughs> in the exam. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, all right, many years ago. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 cleared that up. <laughs> um, many years. They thought tomatoes were poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Um, because what- what- Hold on, are they gonna be proved wrong at the end of this story? Well, what- Cause I don't want to give away the ending, but is it something to do with the- d- d- are they poisonous tomatoes? <laughs> no. Oh, you haven't heard that. <laughs> I don't believe it. But, go on, but go on. They could've been eating tomatoes all this time. <laughs> 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 oh, Steve, what's tomato with you, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, wait a minute. What's Let's just recap quickly. Recap quickly. Many years ago, yeah. when people thought tomatoes were poisonous. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they, they didn't know they were poisonous then, because they were still eating them. But what was that? Well, they're not. Was, but they're not poisonous. Ah, but hang on a minute. All right. It's not, I, I'm just going to listen. I'm okay, not even going to yeah, talk. No, okay, I'm not going to text So, anymore. if you remember, years ago, they didn't have like pottery plates. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had lead plates. Right. What are you talking? Just let him talk. Sorry. What year is this? Let him talk. Come on. <laughs> Plates made out of lead, and right. what they'd end up doing, they'd they'd say, right, do you want a tomato? And they go, yeah, all right. And they'd put the tomato on the lead plate and cut it, and because of the acid in the tomato, right, it would sort of, uh, sort of uh, make the lead runny, and the lead would go into the tomato, and they say, oh, it's lovely this, and they'd be eating it. They'd get food poisoning, lead poisoning, what have you, and they'd be really ill. 
So they thought tomatoes were poisonous, so they didn't eat them for many years. And, and when you say they, do you mean the happen. people of Narnia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this did not. Where Carl. was this happening? Uh, sort of in in Britain and that. <laughs> On the spot there. <laughs> oh, I hope there's no uh, uppity pupils at this school when they go. What do you mean, sir? Oh, if you're gonna, oh, I'm fed <laughs> up with you. Do you understand? <laughs> no. So, so the the no, no, no. You've got no, no, no. Right, right. Okay. First of all, Carl, where do you get this information from? Where Fourteen did times as well. Do you know? Uh, you can't remember. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> but but what I don't. Why don't you think that makes sense? <laughs> but but. <laughs> What? Someone once got lead poisoning from a tomato? No, not just one, loads, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> no, no, no. Why is this educating me? Because I'm telling you that tomatoes. You <laughs> I them... can't take anything away from this. Yeah, I don't know what to take away from this. What have I learned? <laughs> what have I learned? <laughs> don't mix lead with tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this educational in any shape or form? What are you what are you telling me? A long time ago in the land of glunk, <laughs> right, where the ninnies did slib. Right? They thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate plates of lead. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, but we all know tomatoes aren't poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> is what that, is, what, is what, that what we're talking taking about? From the story? Is that the moral of the story? Don't believe these people that I'd never heard of before. What are you talking about, Carl? I just I think it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's a bit weird, yeah. It's, it's the same people that were spreading those malicious worm rumours. <laughs> My hangover's coming back. I've got to get some water. Play a record that was rubbish. <laughs> Doves. Caught by the river on XFM. One oh, my God. <laughs> His hangover came back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give Carl some credit because you're not supposed to put acid in on a cast iron skillet. Like, lemons or tomatoes, like, you don't cook lasagna in a cast iron skillet, um, but, <laughs> uh, like, and, but that's and, lead, never mind. No, but, but honestly, I've, I've heard that before too. Uh, a lot of, I would say fine China, right? Yeah. Were painted with lead paint back uh, in the day. Yeah, you're right. You're so, right. so. There are different rules. Like people would would eventually get sick. I mean, not just as much as you would get lead poisoning, scraping paint, right? Right. Off right. an old building. Um, you could technically chip the paint when you cut the food and you'd be ingesting little tiny microscopic chunks of lead paint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's why you never wash, you know, your great grandmother's fine china, because it most likely was has lead paint on it. Yeah, and that's not really a good side dish. No, no, it's definitely not. So I have, you know, it's funny. I have loads of of fine china that is lead painted that can't be used. Get out of here, man. Yep, yep. It's been passed down, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? Okay, okay. That's why whenever I'm at your house, we use paper plates. Oh yeah, always, always. Because yeah. I can just dump that, and if you get paper poisoning. It's not on me, dude. Yeah. Not on me. Exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah. 4.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington doing the button stuff. Actually becoming a little bit of a producer. Carl, he's yeah. He's working, hasn't he? He's come up with a few games and, um, we made him, he's getting a bit stressed when we shout at him because the mics don't work or it's hanging off. It was too hot in here. He couldn't get the, uh, thing working last week. I mean. I, I I really would throw this studio away and get a real one. Yeah. Well, I'd get one of those ones you can buy for, uh, for like tenner from Argos. Argos, yeah, like Bon Tempe. You, my <laughs> first studio. My, my, yeah, my first uh, With a little picture studio. of Carl on it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That'd be great, great pro product placement. What have you got this week for us, Carl? Because again, we've put very little. We, I, I said I would put. I'm not hungover, but I've put nothing in. Rick, it have you again. done any work for this week? No, no. None whatsoever? No, 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 no. Okay, mm -hmm. Carl, what have you got? What have you got? Quick. Keep them. There, there, it's five past. They're turning over already. They're finding other things. Oh, melon, there's right. melon Sue. There's well, everything. Well, go on. We've got um, after the success of last week, uh, Rockbusters. Okay. We're doing that again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, were you on the same show as us? <laughs> I thought it went all right last week. Yeah. yeah okay. Good. Right. So we'll be doing that. Got some nice prizes. Which. Uh, oh, what prize? What other three films have you got? Have you got? Have well, you got don't don't, don't, don't tell them yet. Don't no, tell them. No. I'll tell you what. If it's Children of the Corn two, then oh. can I can I enter this competition? There you go. Come no, on, no, no, no. What is that? 
He's got oh. some, uh, different prizes. I, uh, maybe I should, uh, I should just tease the audience with those a bit later, Rick, because okay, there's yeah. some exciting stuff there. It's gonna be yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I don't, give, I don't wanna give too much away, Rick, but one of them is a copy of The Office on DVD. <laughs> yeah. Is anything uh, like maybe Burt Reynolds' uh, straight to video <laughs> film? Are any of those in Sadly, there? Sadly, nothing quite as classy. Fist. Yeah. Right. Oh, so we've got, we've got that lot to give away. Yeah. We've yeah. got, um, Go on. Educating, quick, quick. A, a, educating Ricky. Well, yeah, teacher brilliant. stuff. Because well, well, you, you taught me that people used to eat tomatoes off lead plates in the land of Narnia yeah. last week, That's which was good. Week. Yeah. No, Is it was... only tomatoes they eat off the lead plates, by the way? Why, why didn't they think other fruits and vegetables were poisonous? Be no, it wasn't. It was because tomatoes had acid in them. That was the problem. You see, you don't, you don't, don't listen. listen. Right? Well, lots of fruits have acid in them. Yeah, but they didn't eat them back then. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have bloody kiwi fruit and stuff. Don't they say then. bloody. You're a producer. Come on, you'll start, I start saying uh, shit and cock and stuff. You start saying bloody tits. Play, a, play the. Hang on, right? And go on. Play and the keep, keep him hooked, right? Yeah. We've still got a uh, song with a story in it. Yeah. You don't want to play Babushka, do you? He doesn't like the idea of Babushka. I told him that was a story. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't like it. A devil went down to Georgia, someone uh -huh. sent in. You know, he's looking for a soul to steal. Yeah. Doesn't like it. Why don't you like that? Do you know the song? Not particularly. Right, it's a, it's a song about a lad who goes into a pub <laughs> on a, a normal night. <laughs> and <there's> <laughs> it's, a, it's in, uh, sort of the deep south of America, yeah. New Orleans, something like that. It's, yeah. you know, it, it's not the old road. Right, okay. okay go on. goes into a pub, there's yeah. a devil in there, oh. he's getting a bit cocky, he's had a bit to drink and he's saying, do you want to uh, sort of gamble your soul away with me, and we'll see who's best at playing the violin. Yeah. And, uh... What? I think the lad wins in the end, but it, it's not real enough. Where's the one? Oh! What, what? No. Uh, That's not how the story went at all! I love that version! What? The violin? The violin of fiddle! Oh, man. Fiddle. Which... And I don't uh, think he... I don't think he was in a bar. Either. No. Yeah, he was like sit, just sitting somewhere, like underneath a tree. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I he's yeah. He was sitting on hickory stones and said, "Boy, let me tell you what." Yeah, that's it. Not a, not a, not a pub. There was no pub. There was no violin off. Uh, that that's why wow. you don't get two American boys reacting to this. Because we'll I, correct I, you very quickly on that. I'm like, wait, what? What? He, he, the, I love how Ricky, like, what did he say? He's in South of America, like South America. Like, no, this did not happen in South America. Is it the South Southern. in America? I heard South America. I'm like, nope. Mm -mm. Again, yeah. no. But nope. Southern America. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not like the shadow that got a fed up and started pushing kids off bikes. Rick, I think you're in referring Boston. to stuff that no one made sense of yeah. last week. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think right, we should okay, refer to okay, last let's, week. Let's, let's play Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It? And then we'll come back and we'll talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I've come to the conclusion, Rick, we should never refer to stuff Carl said in the past, because it would just take too long to explain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Foo Fighters and All My Life on XFM 104.9. Right. I'm making Jermaine with me, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, just before we do educating, uh, Ricky, this is where Carl thinks he can give me something of interest and teach me something to take away. Last week I found out that, uh, somewhere in a strange land people thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate them with lead. Um, things like that. Um, what was the other one you told me? Uh... What else was it last week? Uh, bits so, of worms. Cut yeah. me off. Yeah. Oh, I, I uh, sent him a text message. I was on the train, a bit bored, and, uh, I read in, I think it was Metro, scientists have found out that, um, uh, worms get stressed, and they found out that, uh, the fat ones, um, didn't live as long. And when they checked the thin ones that lived longer, they found out they had a gene for de-stressing them. Right? Carl, what, do you remember what you said? No. He went, well, that's stupid, isn't it? He said, did these other ones die of natural causes? <laughs> I went, yeah, he went, alright. Because it could be that the fat ones couldn't get off the pavement quick enough and got squashed. <laughs> So maybe the scientists go, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they come to think of it, they were flat as well as fat. I yeah. think the reason that the uh, worms are getting stressed is because uh, people like Carl are cutting them in half to try and make two snakes. Yeah, yeah, two two worms. Well, yeah, well. that's the concern. <laughs> he Carl. said he said they can't even commit suicide if they're stressed by cutting <laughs> their throat. <laughs> I also sent him um, yeah. what I thought was quite interesting that the scientists have found that um, the elephant hasn't got the best memory. The sea lion has, uh, right. based on. 
uh, they've, they've got a sea lion and they, uh, got it back into the old, uh, laboratory. Ten years after it had taught it a simple trick and it could still do the trick. What did you say to that, Carl? I'd say they don't get up to much anyway. <laughs> so if you do teach it something, it is going to remember it. Sure. <laughs> Cause it's got nothing else to do. Yeah. yeah. And then it also, I mean, I like sea lions, they look nice and everything, but what do they do? What was that? <laughs> Sea lions? <laughs> yeah, what, what are they here for? It's another jellyfish, so, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's like, it's there and people know about them, but what do they do? Mm. Yeah. What, does what do we do? do? What do we do, Carl? Well, what do we do? A, a cat, a cat, first, Steve said, is good for your heart. So you, you- Why is it all geared to what's good for us? Well. <laughs> anyway. Educating Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. Good, uh, we settled that then. Go on. <laughs> the titles that are, yeah. uh, meant to sort of pull you in. Yeah. We've got, if, uh, what, what, what was it? So, uh, stocking Aitken and Waterman. Yeah. You've got, it's not his vault. <laughs> and, uh, get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of this. So, uh, which pun do I pick first? Um, I think I'll go for, uh, get a load of this. Get a lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this, yeah. Well, that's, uh... Good thing that he's not in charge of making YouTube titles, because those would suck on YouTube. <laughs> oh, man, they would. They're but, not... you know, they, uh, but you know what? On this one, on this, on this ep epi episode, if you could call it that, it's turning into more of what the uh, Ricky Gervais show started turning into. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this. I, I love when you can like, you can hear the beginnings of something. Mm -hmm. You know, like the very inception of of something. This is yeah. this is it. The early part of the Ricky Gervais show. Yeah. Yeah. That's a story about a girl who, uh, <laughs> she was deaf, right, for, for four years. And, um, it happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or was it, about, what, what, I think it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Uh, she was deaf for about four years. Having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand, because mm. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> yeah. But she was having an argument, well, and a man pushed her against the wall. And she banged her head, and her hearing came back. Okay. Uh, was she wearing a Walkman, and it fell out, and she'd realised, oh, that's There's what. no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something right, then? so I knew you'd say this, <laughs> right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just, no! <laughs> If no. you ask someone something they don't the answer to, they don't tell you something else. Just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. Look, <laughs> how do birds fly? Wow, if you're gonna do that, tallest building is, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well, that, that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away. <laughs> <when we asked laughs> yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen. What do you mean? What she? Okay, so oh. so she. Her There's hearing. There's no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. <laughs> or you don't know. Well, there isn't one, is there? Really? It's a bit what? Weird. But the, the doctors, only did thing the doctors not look into it. No, I think they just said, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> but, so, so again, <laughs> I don't. Where did this information? Is that if you read this on is the that net? It? Is that all they put? There on was the once no. a deaf woman who hit her head. And she and could her hear. hearing came back. It was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there three? Oh, like, yeah. was there I've three got that book. Yeah, it's a good book. That was there three yeah. more pages. You just couldn't be bothered to read off. Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit. And it was said, there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures. I just read going, it. Ow! Look, ow, if you I don't want to know, if you don't want to learn, you know. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages old, ago? Old times? In, I'd say in the 70s. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? I'll, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? No, it's, it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh. he's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. He's electric. And, um... If he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh -huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time. Ugh. And he'd be having a bath and everything would be alright and then the power would sort of switch on in his body and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so... <laughs> what do you mean, so? What is that so- what does that so mean? <laughs> You've given us nothing. You've given uh, us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Like, electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? Oh. <laughs> what was that one called? 
Yeah, but they, they, they but it's not, a, it's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they, 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 they. <laughs> it's not his vault. <laughs> it's not his vault. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something about I think it we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way round. <laughs> I think you should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play a tune. <laughs> it takes a lot for Carl to be uh, like, all right, let's leave it. Well, uh, oh man, you know, didn't he do that? Um, like searching for mutants. Like, didn't he go like looking for like the? Didn't he go see the world's most magnetic guy or something like that on an idiot abroad? And, yeah, and. Uh, or no, I think it was, it might have been the Moaning of Life. Yeah, I think it was Moaning of Life. Where he was on the train in, like, Russia, and the yeah, guy could yeah. stick metal to him. Right, right. It was also that episode that he came up with Bullshit Man. Yes, it is. I think Ricky here is proving himself to be the original Bullshit Man. Yes. I I love it, though. Like, this is something that just so consumable. If I'm, yeah. like... In my car, going to work, coming from work, this is what I need. Yeah. This is, I, I see this. I see how much of a following this, I could, I just, I just see the need this, this, this has. This yeah. Fed, I guess. And I can see how it, people fall asleep to this kind of thing. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. It's very, <laughs> yes. Uh, this one, it's yes. Like that. It's very, this like one, that. yes. 100. Yeah. Like when they said that, you know, multiple people have said they fall asleep to this. It must be this version. Like, yeah. It must be like the actual, the old timey show. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily yeah, yeah. The, um, the cartoon version with all those loud ass intros. Yeah. And a few of those have been edited to where Ricky's laugh isn't just as loud. Holy shit. That, that thing, his laugh, man. Holy mm-hmm. crap. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I will keep that in mind when balancing audio <laughs> for this one. <laughs> That people uh, might come to this and you know try and fall asleep to it. <laughs> I would say go to our rain video to fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, that'll be linked at the end of this one. I don't, I don't yep. feel like putting it in front on top of your face because no, I, I know I'm not going to. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Educating Ricky. Doing it. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are. Oh. What? Don't look at me like that. Oh, Carl, what? are you in a bad mood? The oh, Carl, I'm dreaming right. of you. Right, do the last one. Do the last one. Carl's saying we're never doing this again because we don't appreciate it. Yeah, Carl, you don't know how good this feature is, mate. Right, last one. Yeah. Stocking Aitken and Waterman. Go on then, tell me about that one. What's that? What am I going to learn from this? Right, well, do you know the saying, put a sock in it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Do you know the saying? Yeah. Right, well, do you know where it comes from? I assume it's shut up, so I'll stuff your mouth with a sock to well, shut you up. years ago. Yeah. Sorry, am I right? Mm, no, not really. Ages ago. 1970s? Uh, 50s, okay. I'd say. Do you know the old, uh, <laughs> I'd say! Do you know the old gramophone? Yeah. With the, with the big horn on it? Yep. Yeah. Right, well, those stereos didn't have a volume control on them. Right? So they'd be listening oh, to so the Oh, so you put a sock in the And you'd put, mute. you'd put something like a sock. That's on. a real one, you see. That's taught me something. That's... That's good. That's yeah. excellent, Carl. That is the that is the only one that counts, like chewing the fat, <laughs> if they're true. I'm assuming they are. It works. It's of interest. I haven't got it verified yet, but that is educating Ricky. That's brilliant. I will say the other two were more entertaining. So, you know, I do don't- you see, Do you understand the distinction, though, between that one and Electrical Man? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, or <laughs> I bet me head I can hear you, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> can you see the difference, though? Or- uh, are not, all, all not three because I when I read all three, I took something away from all of them. What, what did you, you take, take away, away from the, from the electrical two? man? I just oh, imagine that. Imagine how annoying <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. not education. <laughs> and it's not taking anything no, away. What, think about it, right? We take our lives for granted all the time, don't you? You get up in the morning, it's like oh, I'll, I'll get up and walk for a shower. Some people can't walk, right? Yeah, yeah. This guy. He can't even have a, you know, I mean, it's nice to have a bath, isn't it, when you've got time on your hands yeah. and you can relax. This guy can't even do that. He might be all right for a bit, but he's not really enjoying it, because at any moment, it could strike. Yeah. So, he can't even do that. He can't comb his hair, because it keeps going a mess. Yeah. He can't watch <laughs> his hair. Knocking you. No, <laughs> does he, does he fight crime? What does he do with his powers? <laughs> yeah. I think he just has to sit around, because no one, he can't work with machinery. Right. Because it'll probably blow a fuse. Yeah, so he just sits around. Think about it, what can he do? 
Mm. What normal things can he do? Skateboarding. <laughs> Going for long walks. Yeah. Put a wetsuit on. Well, he couldn't do that. Why? Ooh, water and electric. No, no, wetsuits aren't actually wet. <laughs> They're dry yeah, initially. But, uh, just put a whole wetsuit on and walk round with flippers and A wetsuit's not like a dinner jacket that's like- <laughs> really <wet>. well, <laughs> Yeah. All, all I'm saying is think, do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, right. and what was the and other- the, the girl- the girl's girl death, four <laughs> years it's her head. Yeah. That's just, What uh, have you learned from there? What is that? Well, imagine- imagine how happy you'd be. Remember that time when I, uh, <laughs> I nearly died? When I choked on a Mr. Freeze pop? <laughs> Right. No, what, tell what? us that one again. No, I told you, didn't I? Tell us it, again. Yeah, but the people will remember it and then it's- They won't. They weren't listening. Go on. What happened? It was ages ago when my mum and dad used to go out shopping on a Friday. 1970s? Get, all, get, all, get the food in. <laughs> <laughs> get, get a week's load of food in the cupboard and that. And we'd, uh, you know, they'd come in with all the food <laughs> and we'd all be like, oh god, you know, there's no food left on a Thursday really, so we'd all be hungry on the Friday by the time the food got in. Mm. I love that, but they would like, need a, 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 I imagine him like jackal puppies. Yeah. Just like, like, uh, uh, licking your parents' mouth for food as so, they come through the door. So they come in from the supermarket, they're emptying the box. Our kid had got some biscuits and what have you. <laughs> I, I, it's frenzy, uh, just a feeding frenzy, like pigeons. I grabbed the Mr. Freeze pop <laughs> and knocked it back really quick, but it hasn't, it wasn't frozen, so I knocked it back so it was like a liquid and it went down the wrong way, right, yeah. and I was choking, right, and I nearly died. It, it must have been about, how long can you go before you die? A couple of minutes to do right, it. I reckon about a minute fifty. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was, uh, <laughs> I was really close <laughs> to dying. <laughs> oh my god! How did you know you were close to dying? <laughs> me, uh, me. <laughs> the fact that he was like a minute fifty. Like, yeah. How close can you come uh, before dying? Like two minutes? Oh, then a minute fifty. I was, I was seconds away from death. <laughs> I can't. I can't, man. That's... Well, he, he, just, he just has lived a different life, man. He's yeah. just... Yeah. Like, Bob Moitermer has lived a life of no regrets, and Carl Pilkington has lived a life of what the fuck. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like a pathetic what the fuck. It's not like, you know, parties way too much. What yeah. the fuck. It's like... I would rather sit on my on a bench in the park with with a newspaper and look at worms or insects or birds. I okay, fair enough. Yeah, here, here here's my leftover bread. If you want to feed the pigeons. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. <sighs> Before you. No, but I just was like. <laughs> There's loads of instances of him eating pops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> just said, forty of those. Whatever, what, right? Anyway. What do you think you'd see <laughs> if your life flashed past you? What do you think <laughs> elements would stand out for you? Do you think? <laughs> what? what? Uh, Start now. Go back. What do you remember? What's the first thing you remember? As a kid. Yeah. yeah. Just anything right. now. Being in the hall and having our dog licking my face. <laughs> 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 That's your earliest memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Right, next oh, one's probably what? being at being at primary school with yeah. uh, Lindsay. Yeah, was that little, your girlfriend? Well, a little friend who was a girl. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we used to have like tins with with letters in, and you'd have to write stuff. But anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> Right, so anyway. I'm intrigued by the dog right. that was licking your face. Well, been that. <laughs> Can we work with that? Rock no, it's busters. a great feature. I just think you need to be a little bit more careful about what, what you consider oh, to be mics. education. God, I'm right. funny. I All fell right. over. Alright, well, right. I'll. We'll work on it next week. Play right. a tune and. What have you oh, got for Because we've got a big competition. Come on! Come on! We've only got 25. Yeah, well, come on, then, quit, then. Do something, play a tune. We'll come back with Rockbusters. What are we playing? Let's play a bit of. Death in Vegas. Scorpio Rising, featuring Yay. the voice of is it Noel Gallagher? Liam, isn't it? Is it Liam? Sounded a bit like him. Liam, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. All right, right. Excellent, yeah. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's get this show. That one is a reaction we did that's been blocked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great song. I liked it. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a little refresher of sanity in the uh, world that is Carl Pilkington. Yes. Yes. A fellow Mank Ma Manchester. Uh, Native, whatever that uh, y'all refer to each other as, uh, is it Man Mancunian? Mancunian, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, because I could have said Manx, which is uh, an Isle of Man uh, uh, native. Uh, Don't want to get that wrong. No, 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 definitely not, definitely mm -hmm. not. You got, you got to get all that out of the way before you go, man. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> one of them in particular is in, on my WhatsApp and would probably give me a paragraph about yes. it. <laughs> a minimum. Minimum. Yes, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Well and truly on the road. Um, we better start what, ed educating Ricky next, Carl. What have you got for me? I can't wait for learning. I need learning. I need education. We should just teach explain something. Uh, obviously, for those that have just tuned in, Carl uh, tries to teach Ricky three things each week. Based on the pun title. And yeah, each of, them, uh, each of them, just to tantalise Ricky, is yeah. um, abbreviated into some kind of headline. It, a cryptic just to clue involving a, involving a pun. So what have you got for us oh, this yeah, week? They, what's are, some... they are really cryptic this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, first story, little headline, is um, don't worry about him. He candle it. He candle it. Yeah. Sounds a bit like he can handle it, but it's yeah. not. Would it? Uh, second one. <laughs> uh, get a lobe of this. I'm I'm <laughs> get a lobe of this. <laughs> it's a classic. Who yeah. can forget? Get a lobe of this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Coming soon. And, and stocking eight gallon waterman. <laughs> Go on. Second one. Yeah. I'm committed to this treatment. Mm. I'm committed to this treatment. Yeah. All right. Tantalising. Yeah. And the last one, um, uh, the police are causing a bit of a stare. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks when he says it. I wish yeah. that, oh, I wish we could see Can't we get Carl on telly? Oh. There's got to be a way. There's we got can, to be a way. Uh, uh, that, with all the cable channels, anyone can get on telly these days. Let's right, get, let, so... let's, let's phone up, let's get you on choice or something. <laughs> Foreshadowing to wow. the Gervais show and Idiot Abroad. <laughs> just a little, just Carl. Oh, man. Yeah, something else you were gonna say, but no, I just I I like I said, it just it's it's so odd, you know, it's so odd seeing these guys like he, not seeing, hearing, yeah, and knowing that this is the the precursor, and they're like, oh my god, yeah, <sighs> like we probably should have done something to like you know cut up everything, like changing costumes, but we're too lazy that's, to do that's, that. Shit. That's next year's guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's next January. Yeah, you know what I mean, that's 2025. Well, when we can find the 25th hour in 2025. Yeah, 25 and 25. Yep. What, 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 what are you going for? Oh, he can handle it. I think. Don't worry about him. He candle it. He candle yeah. it. Okay, Sorry, let's, yeah? let's hear this one. All right, are you familiar with the uh, the phrase "burning the candle at both ends"? Yeah. Do you know how it's come about? I know a man well, who does. I, I assumed that it was to get more light in the room. How would that work? Well, they'd put it sideways and light both wicks, so out of one candle they could get no. two. No, go on. No, what it is... I know is, what it means. Uh, it means you're, you're, staying, you're doing too much, you're staying up too much, right. you're not getting enough sleep and you're... Well, years ago... Yeah. Um, when they didn't have light bulbs years and that. Ago. Oh yeah, what year is this? Quite literally, a... literally ages ago specifically. Yeah, quite a bit back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, didn't have light bulbs and that, so they used to have candles when in When did the light bulb come in? Because I, I can't remember at the moment. I, phew, don't know. Okay, go on. So, um, yeah, so they've, they've got a light bulb. You're not, you, you wouldn't know, you're a, doc, you're a doctor, you're not a historian, go on. Uh, <laughs> and people who worked a lot of hours, yeah. How many? Literally lots. They get up <laughs> early in the morning because they have to be up early. Yeah. And it's dark outside so they light the candle. Sure. And they wear it out a bit. And then they'd be getting in late as well. Yeah. And like, they'd be like, oh, it's dark. I'll have to light the candle again. And the burning candle at both ends of the day. So that's where the saying comes from burning the candle at both ends. So. Uh... All right. That's a uh, little lesson. Yeah. Lesson Good. one. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. No way. Really? Burning the makes candle at both ends of the day. That makes. More sense, yeah. I mean, granted, if it has any seed of truth in there, you know, but still makes you think, and that's the thing that fucking Carl Pilkington does. He makes me think about shit that I have spent my whole life never questioning mm -hmm. or never needing to question. I don't, I can't even formulate the right question to think about it on my own terms. <laughs> and I can't be bothered to do it myself. <sighs> Can I have? No, oh, no, you, you can't. Have you can't rush yet. into them, Rick. You've got to. I've got uh, to soak you've, in got, that. you've got to soak that one in. Any questions for Carl off the back of that? <laughs> what do you think? 
So, so, so people were, I mean, basically where this comes from is people were- <laughs> They're literally brilliant the cat at the end of the day. Sure. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. So we've still got- Go on. I'm committed to this treatment. And I can't wait. This is like this is like Christmas Rick, Eve for me. It's it. like Christmas. I've got to open another present now. No, I'm afraid we've got to save it. But Rick, listen. Um, we often get a lot of email correspondence during sure. the show, Rick, uh, which I don't I don't sort of pass on to you because I mean you're busy, you're planning the show and stuff. Sure, you've got sure, a lot of ideas. Sure. You've got music and stuff to worry yeah. about. So I check the emails, and we get a lot of response. A lot of people that obviously uh, you know want to give us feedback. Uh, just a sample one um, from Richard Anderson. He's just uh, emailed us in here, Rick, because uh, he's been listening to the show. He says, Ricky, your show is appalling. Um, are you actually aware you're on the radio or has someone just secretly stuck a microphone on you? That's from Richard Anderson. So, <laughs> yeah. that's, the, that's typical of the kind of feedback Rick we're getting <laughs> really? today. So, it's that um, good, is it? So, that's, that's the kind of, yeah, high positive praise that we're getting. So, uh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, glad Anderson's listening because thing? I wanted him. Yeah. Oh, gee, wonder where we've seen that before. Hmm. hmm. I love it. You know what? At least everyone's consistent. You did yeah. it to them then. We we've seen those comments today. So yeah. Hey, yeah. You all you Richard Andersons out there sticking with it since the since the ages ago. You know, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference now is when Richard Anderson does that, he drives engagement on our videos Very and we true. make more money. Very so true. jokes on him. Very true. Yeah. It's all right, Richard Anderson. You played yourself. Exactly. And people don't know what they want until you put it in front of them anyway. So yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. what does he know? Ah. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know shit about fuck. At, and, and, and at the same time, I know less now than I did going into this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm with you there. That's what that's what Carl Pilkington does to me, man. Yeah. He rips out my, my whatever innocence is left in my head. <laughs> You act like there was innocence there to begin with. Well, I mean, what little there was, <laughs> gone. Because it's used thinking about people cutting worms in half. <laughs> and hairy <laughs> Chinese kids. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was, no, I mean, I, I was gunning for him as a fan. I was worried that early, early on in our career. So uh, but, uh, I, think, I think he's hooked now, though. But thanks, uh, Anders, for <laughs> getting in touch. Good work. <laughs> he's he's sitting think. through it for Hellraiser, though, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's still to come. Still, still, still to come. Still to come. What we're playing? Uh, a bit of old dirty bird. I can't. I can't say the word. It's offensive. Old old Is it bollocks? Is it old dirty bollocks? <laughs> no, 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 no. What no, is no, it? No. Old, dirty. old dirty. Old dirty big cock. <laughs> no, what no. is it? What is it? I can't tell you. It's okay. offensive. Nirvana. Amazing. We're just talking. We're getting excited. Yeah, we've got an incredible brilliant. voice. Yes. And Grohl, Dremin, it's it's brilliant. You know you're right. The new one from Nirvana. Well, we're, it's time for educating Ricky Part Two, isn't it? I'm yeah. excited. So I'm thinking this is like 2002 because. Um, both uh, Death in Vegas and with Liam Gallagher and the last Nirvana track, you know, you're right. Both those were 2002. So interesting. And I'm ODB, old yeah. dirty bastard. Yeah, yeah. So all right. Now, now we're finally time stamping this one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, man. Carl, I'm gonna learn so much from this. <laughs> What's the choice again? What's right, you've got? Uh, you've got left. Still, uh, still keep phoning your answers to uh, um, email. Email. Sorry, yeah. Uh, the answers to rock busters. busters. Yeah. Right. Okay. Educating Ricky, part two. Um. Right. I'm committed to this treatment. Yeah. Is is one. Oh, I've got to go for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, the other one is the police are causing a bit of a stare. <laughs> He still says it like it's the best thing he's ever come up with, which yeah. is it could be. Right, go on in. I'm committed to this treatment. Right. Do you know the saying? Oh, is it just sayings now? Uh, are they all sayings? This no, week? no, no, no. They're not. Okay. No, the other one isn't. Uh, frog in your throat. <laughs> the saying, "There's a frog in your throat." Yeah. I true. assume it's uh, when you uh, croak a little bit. You sound like a <clears throat> frog. No. no. Right. That might sound, seem a bit weird. This one. Right. But years ago. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so what? What is that clue? Committed to this treatment? It's about frogs committed. Kerm Kerm <laughs> <laughs> it probably works better with a K and an yeah. ER written down. Well, also if you'd pronounced it committed, yeah, but uh, not committed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> committed to this treatment. <laughs> right, go on then. Uh, That's right, genius. Uh, I swear I heard committed too. Me too. I didn't hear Kermit. Permitted. I, I, I did not hear uh, Kermit the Frog in that <laughs> not one. Not at all. 
That is a terrible oh. Kermit the Frog, by the way. Better than I can do, man. So, oh, yeah. yeah, way to go. Way to reach Thank for it. Thank you. I try. At least I'll try. That's... Even if I don't get it right or way off, I'll at least at commit least to the bit. Kermit to the bit. <laughs> yes. Always. Uh, Always. Uh, you asshole. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, what? You, get, you go to the doctors and you go with throat certain a bit. Right. And what they did ages ago. Ages ago? What year was this approximately? We are going back quite a bit with this oh, one. Oh, okay. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, <laughs> uh, got, got into history. Imagine years ago. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, right, keep your, keep your mouth open, I need to look at your tonsils. And the jaw would ache a bit, cause, because they weren't as quick back then, because they didn't have the technology and stuff, and they'd sure. have to, like, stare at it and study it and stuff. Mm. And, like, they get an achy jaw, right? Keeping their mouth open. Yeah. Like, you get, you know, yeah. 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 Mars yeah. bar or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. bit yeah. So, um, they, they'd sat there, and they used to always close the mouth, and they, it used to annoy the doctor. Yeah. Right? Oh. So what they did, yeah. they used to get a toad. Right. And put it in the mouth. Rubbish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep, Rubbish. Keep talking. Keep talking. And, um, that way, they couldn't close the mouth because either they'd squash it. Right. Or... Apparently, you're not allowed to, uh, lick a toad's back. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor would have them for breaking the law? <laughs> no, 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 but it's poisonous, right? A toad's back. You should never lick a toad's back. Or, or, or put it in your mouth, really. Oh, just, 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 just stop no, no, for a second. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Can I just ask one question? Go on, yeah, just go on. Ask one question. I've got a few, but no, go on. I, I, sure. My initial thought is, it sounds like a brilliant bit of, of sort of medical, uh, knowledge there. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. My only thought is, how does the doctor see past the toad? Yeah, at your tonsils? what's he actually looking at with the mouth open? Surely the toad is is Isn't in it the like way. Hopping around in the way. It, it didn't say. No. Uh, sorry, and uh, my my question, my first question is: Was this on the internet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Carl, that is bollocks. <laughs> that is, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, all right then. Let's turn this round. Where does the saying uh, you got a frog in your throat come uh, from? Probably because you sound a bit croaky. Probably that. <laughs> yeah. Probably because you sound a little bit like a frog when you've got a sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, did you not question it just for a moment when you read it? Just for a second, didn't you think, that seems an odd approach? Firstly, why a frog, of yeah. all the different because species- Because it's poisonous, it's poisonous. A toad- no, So a toad, so it's a toad right. as well. Yeah, well, that it worked, I'm committed, worked- No, that, oh, no, that, no, that no, 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 I was gonna change it to, uh, have you heard the news, Toad Day? <laughs> 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 but I went with, I went with the frog. Oh, Carl! Oh, God! <laughs> right, so- right. So, so that's rubbish. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I just can't. <laughs> uh, Putting a frog in your throat to keep you from closing your <clears> mouth. <throat> uh, keeping it open. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, hey, uh, back, uh, back then, they used to treat shit with leeches. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't put it past any medieval doctor or any doctor from 10 years ago and yeah. beyond. You I know. mean, real talk, man. If someone put a a frog in my mouth, uh, I, I, I'd probably throw up. Yeah, and you yeah. wouldn't be able to see anything except for whatever I ate earlier that day. Plus toad. Now Plus, you have a now you have a throw up covered toad jumping around the office. Yeah, yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. And, <sighs> yeah, frog in your throat. You know, you, you, you sound. Uh, ah. You sound like the guy from Disturbed, apparently. No, like you, you, you sound very yeah. I can see that's that's the thing. That's why I love this balance. It's like you didn't think about that for a second before <laughs> you just rattle it off. It's like, oh my god, I love these yeah. guys, man. He is down with the Swiss Miss for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! I got that from you, man. I know. So. I know that made me chuckle when I saw that. It always made me chuckle, but. <laughs> Uh, so that's rubbish. Next, um, <laughs> can I have, um... <laughs> let's play a tune, let's come up with the God. last one. Oh. Oh, can I'm I just play it? No, just play it, just play it. Yeah? Yo, Carl. <laughs> why are you telling me this? I don't, I don't, I mean, thank you, because it's, you know, killed a couple of minutes, but why is this educating me? What are you, what are you telling me because here? Because the, the, there's a bit of a thing there, a bit of a fable, that don't always judge a book by its cover. A fable? Yeah? So, the guy, he hadn't even had a drink. He'd probably just been shopping. 
Yeah. Uh, walking down the street and everyone's like getting involved, like what's he doing? He I shouldn't- don't, Hang on, I don't understand. He's walking down the street, happens to have a glass eye. He was doing nothing else to suggest he was drunk. You don't pick people up just cause they- their eye looks like oh, that. But even like if it happened, why are you telling me? With no- with no particular detail. Oh. I know this, but then we're gonna get- It's not enough information! I know, yeah. No, oh. th th there's a bit of a lesson there, educating Ricky, just, you know, just watch what you say. Uh, don't always jump to conclusions. I'm just- I'll, I'll do, I'll do, the, the only education I can take from that is that, um, if I ever do become a policeman, I shouldn't just arrest people because they look a bit drunk. I should just <laughs> tap their eye with a pen and go, goes, <laughs> oh, okay, on you on go. On you go, well, <laughs> on you go yeah. Guys, can I just stop you there? I'm just gonna email Richard Anderson and tell him I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Right, listen, we're running out of time and that. Um, oh, we've got how, the where does the phrase we've got, frog in the throat come from? We've got, we've we've got it here, it's been, it's been told. Well, there's three. We've heard you and come up with that. Have well, we got anything lined up? Uh, yeah, we've got the song with the story in it. Come on, okay. Carl, let's do something. Quick, play a record. Song with the story in it. Well, never mind week. that, just, they're listening. We, this, we discussed this off air, come on. Play a record. Right, play it. It's song Kinks. For, yeah. Kinks. Kinks. It's a song with a good story in it. You've got to listen to the words. <laughs> Carl, what was that? That was your little song that's, with a story. Uh, that's another little feature that we do every Saturday. Uh, little so song. make sure you tune in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a song that's got a good story in it. There's a lot of music about these what's days. What's that story that, about then? What's that, that story you about? You don't know what they're going on about. Whereas that, classic from the Kinks called Lola. Yeah, what's it about? Um, I'd listened to it for the first time properly this morning. Yeah. And what I've worked out from it is, is a fella who goes out for a normal Saturday night out, he's yeah. in Soho. Yeah. He's having a, he's having a Coca-Cola or whatever. And he, uh, yeah. he sees, he sees this woman and he can say, oh, she's alright. Yeah. Won't mind a bit of that. So he wanders over and he sort of gets to talking to her. He looks at her and she's got a great figure, nice face and all that. Lovely knob. And, uh, <laughs> and she speaks and he yeah. goes, oh, God. God. More foreshadowing. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to get that in oh, there. Oh, man. <sighs> God. Bit of a bloke's frog voice. Throat, yeah. <laughs> Not a yeah. bit of a voice like a bloke. But he thought, but you know, that's her only down point. Sure. Yeah. So he's, he dances around with her and I think he sits on his knee, I think he said. Yeah. Anyway, it turns out it's a fella. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, a sobering yeah. lesson. Yeah. Um, um, what do you take from that? Look, always sort of, if you, if you think you might be talking to, uh, a, a bloke, bloke in dress, dress, just look at it, Adam, his sort of Adam's apple. Right. <laughs> okay. And he'll probably have a hairier arse than, than a woman. Yeah, I think you've gone too far with then, though. I think you've already- I think you're- you're already getting too close. <laughs> it's a bit late to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> no, pun intended, definitely. There was a pun intended. Oh, was it? Alright, was it? Alright, <laughs> alright, oh, right. okay, we well, don't be disgusting then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Um. The the uh, results of um. We, we ain't got a winner for the first time. Yes, uh, we, we have. We've done this feature for. We've got loads of winners. No, we haven't. We've done th this feature for three weeks. This is the first time I've um I've managed to sort of. What? Well, let's well, go through them then. They're what have they got wrong? The first one. The right, first what, one. What the was first the first one? Well, the first well one. hang on. Let's just let's what? just let's do them in reverse order for a second. So what's what's the last one? The last one. The clue was. That bloke does, uh, does sport on the telly and he's got a little kid. What's that? That's Destiny's Child. Des, who does ITV Sport. Oh, that's he's got terrible, a Tiny's Child, right? No, that's, they, that's cut, fine, yeah, they got that. that. Destiny's that's Child. What's the one, what's, what's the middle one? Right, Destiny's Child. Right? Destiny's Child. The second one was, yeah. uh, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a couple of kids, that, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Right? That was PD, that was Puff Daddy. That is offensive. Go on. But that, it's not Puff Daddy. It's Puff Daddy. And he's not even called that anymore, he's called P. Diddy. Well. Okay. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But they got that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and if, so if I'm being tight, these lot are as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Tight means, means something in Manchester. Go on. Right. And the first, for the first one that they, they're having problems with, I don't think them birds should be a, allowed in this They've area. They've got it. Boyzone. Boyzone. It's not, it's not Boyzone. It's, th what's the clue again? I don't think them birds should be allowed in this area. That is perfect. A boy zone. No birds. No women. No women, yeah, birds, right? A boy zone. Sorry, Carl. If that isn't the answer, their clue is better than yours. That is brilliant. What was yours? Boy zone, it works perfectly. What's your answer then? Bangles. <laughs> what? I have no idea what that means. Like seagulls. So you, you don't want them in this area, so you're banning them. Bangles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, give it to Boyzone, because Boyzone's better. Don't be allowed this area, it's a Boyzone. I think zone. we should have a rollover.
I think this is like a rock buster right here. I guess yeah. they included a few of them in the uh, three hour comp. So, <laughs> Ben, <laughs> what? Oh my God. Uh, I love that. Okay. Okay. Are these in, in the comments? Are these available just to listen like episode one of one out there? In the in the universe, even if it's on like YouTube or Spotify, yeah. or, like if there's a, a website with a database of <laughs> all of them available, yeah, I would love to know if that just exists, you know, because that that I really would love to to just fall asleep to this stuff, man. It would be, yeah. you know, at least the early stuff, the early stuff I could get into. Oh yeah. Can't beat them. Can't beat them. You have to use his logic. But then it works. You can't do what am I thinking? No, that's not what I'm thinking. It perfectly. It works perfectly. I think you've got to give it to the the ones that got the the boy zone. Well, how about right? Because they didn't actually get into my my head. That I'm well, thinking, heaven right? forbid. How about we just keep back the David Attenborough, and they can have. I'll chuck in the El Razor, right? <laughs> okay. And, Most of you. And uh, <laughs> Blondie album and the Madness yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Pick a winner at random. Pick Steve. a winner, Steve. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Paul Sloman, who got those answers, and he also says, P.S. Carl, you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm giving that to Paul, and uh, good luck to him. <laughs> right, well, he's got a crazy night uh, well, tonight. If we can rush these over to him, he's got right. a cracking yeah. uh, Saturday yeah. night. Well, well, if I'm a moron, I might get your address wrong when I send them to you. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Coming yeah. right back at you, Paul. Yes. <laughs> Right. John, play your song. Is this oh, your God, I was annoyed because wow, I didn't get banned goals. A song from uh, song for the lo ladies. I think we seem to have missed this a lot of weeks, but uh, this sure. is. Uh, I've been wanting to play it's this. Not like us to for forget things. <laughs> that this is a band at uh, Frente who kind of came and went, and oh, no yeah. one was particularly interested. But they did this do this lovely acoustic version of the new order tune, Bizarre Love Triangle, oh, right. and this just shows you how incredible the melodies and the and the words and everything are. Brilliant, I'm uh, new order. Just uh, play this. Good night. Bye bye. Is this in the week? Do you reckon Richard Anderson will be back next week? Yeah, time? Richard Anderson will not miss this show. Excellent. Every time I think of you, I get a shot right. Missy Elliot, work it. <laughs> Man, some people are just savage. Dude, <laughs> I love it though. You know what though? It it it's the culture. It's the culture. It's so oh, yeah. different. You know, it's it's I've I've learned to absolutely freaking love that. Like yeah. because knowing that it happened to them on the constant and how little it happens. Like, I mean, it doesn't not happen, but you know, I, I like it. I like it. I'm like, okay, fair enough. They've been doing this forever, forever. So oh, yeah. it's just part of life. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's just the culture over there. Yep. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Do this. 